My name is Gary Barker. I'm the CEO of Equimundo, Center for Masculinities and Social Justice. And I'm here at USIP to talk about what men and boys have to do with the women peace and security agenda. We know that women having voice at peace negotiations tables, we know that what happens to women after conflicts and during conflicts has everything to do with what happens to men. The harm, the militarization, men's participation in war directly affects women. So we have to engage them in these discussions. We have to know what's up with men. We have to listen to men so that we can support both the lives of women, but also for communities, for men themselves, for children, in context of rebuilding. Men are part of the equation, it's relational. We can't do it with either alone. I'll point to an example in DRC, Eastern DRC, which has faced more than two decades of conflict and where sexual violence during the conflict has been particularly high. We've partnered with colleagues there for nearly 10 years of building a trauma model, looking at how to break cycles of men's use of violence, violence they witnessed or experienced during the conflict that often turned into violence against their partner, and also to become supportive partners when their wives had been victims of sexual violence during the conflict, which in some parts of Eastern DRC is as many as one in five women. We've seen with a randomized control trial of that approach, reductions in men's use of violence against their partner, better coping skills, less substance abuse, less suicidal ideation on the part of men who have participated in the activities, and less likelihood to rejoin certain armed groups. So we think that kind of approach that looks at what's up with men in relationship to their female partners can bring benefits for both men and women, as well as to their communities. We're trying to take these conversations about healthy masculinities to younger ages. And we're both worried and excited about what's happening to younger boys, ages 12 and up, the time they're spending online, messages they're getting about masculinity online that are often quite militaristic, harmful, sometimes racist, sometimes misogynist. We're worried about that data. We're excited about stepping into a place where we go even younger um, and looking at the sources of where do we make these harmful ideas about masculinities. That's part of our Global Boyhood Initiative. Um, of starting these conversations even younger. Mm -hmm.